Heimei, Iceland. This tiny nation is home to some of the most ferocious volcanoes on Earth. It's an island of extremes, where ice meets fire. Just before two o'clock, the fishing village is rocked by a violent eruption. A mile-long crack splits the island in two. On the north side, the red-hot lava quickly reaches the sea. To the south, a river of fire heads straight toward town. Fountains of flaming lava force Smarty Hardison and his family out of their home. The ground opened up and spilled a lot of really red lava high up to the mountain. The whole town, just everything just went wet. Within two hours, 5,000 people, many of them small children, are running for their lives. It's just a matter of time before their homes are destroyed. Their only hope now is to escape the island with the few possessions they can carry. The villagers head toward the harbor where 60 fishing boats are docked. The water is actually beginning to boil. They're about to take refuge on the trawlers when... In a flash, the onslaught of burning lava heads in a different direction. And the lava all of a sudden changed its course. It started heading for the harbor. Our lives here depend on this harbor. The terrified townspeople can't save their homes from being swallowed up by the raging inferno. But there's still time to save the harbor, the lifeblood of their town. But the odds are against them. Never before have men battled a volcano and won. Their only chance to stop the furious flow is to blast millions of gallons of water on the molten rock until it cools and hardens. Volunteers set up giant water pumps and connect it to 19 miles of pipeline. As the wall of lava bears down on the harbor, the fearless fishermen prepare for the battle of their lives. It felt like we had just returned from fighting a war. Except in this war, we were not fighting each other. We were fighting Mother Nature. Miraculously, the plan works. The seawater cools down the 1,800-degree lava. Even more equipment is brought in, allowing 60 tons of water per minute to be blasted onto the smoldering rock. After working around the clock for days, the nightmare is finally over. The volcano is stopped dead in its tracks. The people have won. Today, the residents of Heime have rebuilt their town on the ruins of the past. There are houses under here and to the harbor. We are standing on top of houses. But the beauty of the new homes can't hide the ugly reminder of the volcano's savage fury. The people of Heime hope and pray that they'll never again have to face down this kind of hell on earth. <laughs>